Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lois, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we were working on some stuff. Uh, we weren't really getting much done yes uh, the last episode. Not yesterday, it wasn't yesterday. Uh, the last episode, we weren't getting too much done. But we were trying to automate some more machines um, for more, well, quicker automation. Um, things like, uh, where can I find it? It's gonna be easier to search for it. So, draconic cores, for example, um, need to have glowing magnoloy, mag, mang alloy, mangaloy, uh, which this system is set up to do exactly that. On demand, always be supplied, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that that's something uh, we have. A soul binder. These are for Franken. Uh, I believe it's the Franken. Yeah, Franken zombies. These, um, which we need to include one more thing for this thing to work, uh, and that is to have a powered spawner, which we'll work on today. Uh, and then this one was for anything that needs redstone. So, um, the flux crystals, for example, are pretty easy to do that with, uh, and we weren't really getting much done. I'll be honest. Um, but today, hopefully, we can change that. Now, something else we were doing last time was starting to set up all of the different um, dire crafting recipes that we're going to need to do soon and uh, get what we need done. So, uh, I have been working on getting a bunch of compressed dark iron and, uh, well, that is for the neutronium compressor. So, we're going to need a lot of these. Now, we're going to need to have, I kind of looked, um, if we look at... Let's see, what is something we can look at? Uh, it, singularities. So if we look at the recipes for the neutronium compressor, there are 34 pages of them. However, uh, the last few pages are stuff like turning ingots into blocks. We don't care about that. Turns out there's 17 pages of singularities, which means there's 34 um, recipes that we're going to need to do. So that is easy enough. Um, so we're going to need 34 of these, and the reason why we're using gold chest for this is it's exactly a 9x9, nine nine. so we can set this up perfectly. Uh, so we're going to need 34 of these guys, and uh, we're going to get this all set up, and hopefully I, we should have more than enough of these guys so uh, at least I think yeah we barely do uh, so we can just set up all of the neutronium compressors and then once we're ready to, to craft these we just take everything out of the chest and come over here and put it in there but uh, currently still 34 uh, neutronium collectors from from getting there uh, as you can see we have a bunch of them I've been making more and we have almost half a stack of ingots, which is not too bad. Uh, so we'll get on with that here soon. Now, one of the big things that I, we're needing to finish this guy up is villager souls. Um, we're also using a ton of power, which reminds me, I turned this reactor on. We should probably turn it back off. Actually, he's almost, he's almost full. So we'll let it fill up with the uh, internal buffer and everything and once it gets close we'll just deactivate it and it will still give us some power but then um, we won't waste any energy perfect good enough um, how much Eulorium do we still have in here 88 ingots we have a lot of cyanite so uh, there there's things we need to do with that but anyways we have plenty of power uh, that is one of the concerns with making all of the enticing crystals, uh, all of these guys, just because they're they're pretty expensive power-wise. I think they require like 200,000, um, but we're going to make a villager highlighter today. Uh, and the reason I want to do this is because I want to see if we're being efficient enough with our village in the mining dimension. Uh, so I don't know what all this is going to tell us. I know it's going to highlight a village, but that, that's all I know. So uh, we'll see what it does, and maybe it will tell me what I think it will need to tell me, but we'll just put it in here. 
and I have no idea what this thing does. Um, let's shift click with him or yeah uh, so I think that tells you the bounds of an actual village this isn't technically a village but this is good enough they will breed here uh, I mean there's what one two three three guys currently um, I could probably expand this and I might do that off camera uh, just to get more villagers a little bit quicker. Also, it's Christmas season, so uh, things are looking better. Uh, but that's fine. Whatever. We'll throw that away. It's not a big deal. Um, we'll just turn it back into EMC and move on from that. So I just want to see what that was about. Now, one of the things we were working on last time was trying to get 300 levels in order to... Uh, well, get all of the to, to get the powered spawner that we need. So I have this set up. Uh, I went ahead and got ten of these fluid cows uh, with like liquid XP. And what I did was I went ahead and put a safari net um, with one of those guys and exact spawn them, and then just captured the soul vials, brought them back, and now we should have we're pretty close. Um, so we can always active that. That's gonna fill up a little bit more. And we'll just leave this here for now. We are getting so much like frame rate lag every once in a while. Um, so we'll let that kind of go for a while. And hopefully by the time we're we're ready to come back to it, uh, it'll be good to go. So that is that. Uh, now something... Okay, so I'm going to be honest. So uh, the Portal of the Last Millennium, for the longest time, has been kind of... Well, our farm, our essence farm, has been kind of this. We've been gathering all of these guys because, like, we have almost 20,000 redstone essence. And I'm going to be honest, for a lot of these, um, we kind of want the essence because it's useful. But for some of them, there's only one recipe that we can actually use with them. So we should probably just go ahead and convert those in the last millennium. Uh, and then send everything over. Uh, we could change all of these to whatever it is that we're storing. But like things like Technicolor Essence, aka Dye Essence, we don't want to convert. Um, the Air, Earth, Fire Essence, all of those, we don't want to convert. Uh, so if we take a look at some of these, um, so Redstone Essence, for example, gives you Redstone. Uh, we don't care about Enchanted Books, be honest. Um, but it also gives you charged Surges Quartz. Uh, that is something that we might actually want. Uh, whereas Lapis, again, we don't care about books, so it's just Lapis. So that's that's fine. We can just bring Lapis over here and we'll be good to go. So that's something that I think I'm going to work on here soon. And in order to do that, we're going to need uh, Compactors, which we don't currently have any of. So I'm going to probably do that off camera, just because it's going to take a while. Uh, so we need a piston, or four, and then what's in the center? It's a just a crafting table. All right. Uh, so we'll put a crafting table there. And there is our compactor. Now we can throw it in here. And get a bunch. Uh, so that's something to kind of note. And I'm going to put the extra one in there. Uh, so that's something I'm going to work on um, soon enough. Oh my gosh. I really wish that the lag would kind of die down. But whatever. Um, anyways, we also need fluid. We need six of these. Uh, we shouldn't need more than six of these. No, eight of these. But we'll keep the rest of the stuff just in case two four so we need six of those so that stuff I will take over to the last millennium and get set up later uh, not that big of a concern right now so for today's episode since we're waiting on getting just more stuff 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to continue setting up these guys, especially the wand of animation. Uh, this is one of the first things that we're going to want. We are going to need a few neutronium compressors for it though. Uh, so that is something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, but this thing is super duper important. It's going to give us all the vibranium that vib vibrantium that we're going to need. Uh, it is going to require demon steel. A uh, high level of demon steel as well. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get. But um, we can also do some questing. So in the Gamma Quest we have not much left to do. Um, the portal to the deep dark is pretty nasty in terms of octuple compressed cobblestone. Uh, but other than that, not too bad. Uh, and then just one of the wings and that should be it. Uh, Epsilon, we need more demon steel. Zeta, uh, imaginary time block and solar flux, uh, which this is something we could probably get into. Um, but the problem is the tier 5 and higher do not have EMC. So we're going to need to make a ton of tier, actually tier 3s. So we're going to need to make a ton of this stuff. And I don't really have the math down right now. So that is a fairly large question as of like what we're going to need. But we should be able to... Let's get like a stack of gold and a stack of redstone. Uh, where do we have redstone? There it is. And let's go ahead and get a stack of redstone chipsets or the gold chipsets. And I'll just craft those. Uh, so that's one that I know we're gonna need. So we'll just go ahead and let it do that. Um, okay. So those quests we will do maybe next episode, I don't know. We'll see kind of what I get done and whatnot. Um, but the imaginary time block requires a bunch of compressed Gaia. I don't really want to kill the Gaia Guardian anymore right now. Um, we'll get to that later. So let's continue looking at all this stuff. Uh, so Ada, uh, Etta, however you say it. Uh, we need to go wireless. Can we do that? No. That is expensive. Alright, uh, we can continue working on some of these storage cells and whatnot, not, but eh, applied logistics. So the Erebus and Dimension Hopping, um, we do need to go kill more things in the Erebus. Uh, big reactors, we still need the turbine stuff, which is also going to require... Uh, actually, not that hard. Uh, but it is going to require in the controller Demon Steel 6 magnitude. So that's not something I necessarily want. I want to see something real quick though. Um, Eulorium fuel rods, do they have EMC? They do. Reactor control rods also. So we could actually make a really good uh, reactor if we wanted to. And I think we might do that here soon. Um, just so we can stop using Ender power. Um, maybe with that, let's see, Kappa, Project E, I don't want to get into that today, Draconic Evolution. Um, we could look at the, let's grab our Draconic Tablet. Uh, so something we could do with the Draconic Evolution stuff is we could make the storage system um, the power storage. So this thing is kind of uh, insane. Uh, so we're going to need energy core, particle generators, and energy pylons. And there's seven tiers. And it tells you how much of everything you need and how much it stores. At the max storage, it stores 2.1 trillion RF. Uh, so that's that's a little bit of power. I mean, currently we're storing with just two vibrant capacitor banks, um, a billion. So is it really worth it to make the the huge one? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but let's see how bad some of this stuff is. So energy pylon, energy core. 
isn't actually that difficult. Uh, energy pylons are not that difficult either. Um, and then what? Well, what else was there? So energy core, energy pylons, uh, and then particle generators. Particle generators are also pretty cheap. So, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely doable. Whether or not it's worth it for us, I don't know. Um, but making a full-size reactor probably is. Uh, anyways, let's get on with today. Um, so what I want to start working on is let's go ahead and finish the angel ring recipe so that once we are done, we can just make that. We're going to need the ring of flight for it, though. Uh, so ring of flight is going to require some stuff, but we have a ring. Okay, so we're going to take that out so we know we have it. We need a magic core, which is going to require a bunch of different things. And then my question is, have we found a bat? We do have a bat. We can summon bats in. That is good. All right, so here's the question. Do we want to do the flux thrusters or the dark solarium? It doesn't really matter too much. I think this one's going to be easier, though. Uh, yes. Okay, so we're going to go for the um, Dark Solarium Thrusters. So we're going to need two of these guys, which is going to require uh, two of these. And the only thing we need on that is what? Vibrant Alloy. All right, that's easy enough. One, and then we're going to need a player core. Times two. And then that should be one, two. And there's the two vibrant thrusters. All right, and then to get the dark solarium thrusters, we're going to need these flight control units. We're going to need, what, one, two, three of those? So these are not terrible to make, but it does require some dark solarium. Uh, dark solarium is pulsating crystals, which let's just DMC those if we have one. Uh, so pulsating crystal. Uh, so we're going to need what? 12 of these plus two more um, plus four more. So plus uh, six, that's 18 of these. And to make one, we just, it's a one to one. All right, way too many. Let's just make a stack. We'll put a pulsating crystal in here. Uh, and then we need solarium and what else for the dark solarium? Uh, dark steel. Okay, so nothing too difficult here. Just a matter of getting all this stuff taken care of. Okay, stop it. So that'll cook up, it'll be fine. And then we can move on to other things. So uh, we're gonna need three bats. So let's pop down here, let's capture some bats. Um, spawn exact copy, no. We can turn it on. It won't take too long. Put that stuff away. Cool. Uh, so this is going to be somewhat important to get done. Um, but the angel ring is not actually that important. Because uh, we have flight from other matters, uh, other ways. All right, so let's turn this off. And then we're going to go ahead and capture all these bats. Uh, because why not? 
And I don't think there's any more. So we have a few bats. All right, so do we have some dark stellarium? And we're gonna need to just get more. So we're only gonna need, what, three bats right now? So put everything else away. And let's see what else we can make with all this. So um, everything else here is pretty straightforward. And the magic core, we're gonna need two of these gel uh, cryothium coolant units. So we need two of these, one, two. And we're going to need uh, one of the glowstone elevation units. So I don't wanna use glowstonic steel. I wanna use lumium. Uh, so I think it's just like this. We'll get some more lumium. And we're going to need the fluxed electrum. Uh, so electrum, we need some of this. And then we're also going to need an illuminator frame. Uh, so the fluxed electrum requires uh, redstone and pyrothium dust. So redstone and pyrothium dust. Let's get a little bit more electrum. All right, that's good. So this is still cooking. We're gonna actually tell it to stop pulling things from there. Uh, put the dark solarium in there, that's fine for right now. Uh, and we can put all this in there. So we're gonna need the illuminator frame as well. Which that's pretty easy. Okay. So, with these cryothium units, we need uh, Blizz powder, Blizz essence, all this stuff. And we need to have cryothium. So we need four buckets worth, so we need eight buckets total. Uh, so that is half a stack of this stuff. So we need a lot more of it. But luckily we can grind this up. Does it have to be in a pulverizer? It does. Okay, that's fine. Um, we don't have a pulverizer over here. We have one down here. Should probably make another pulverizer at some point, but whatever. Uh, so we're gonna need a good bit of this stuff. It's just full, full stack. And we're gonna need more blizz. Blizz rods. All right, so um, currently our uh, sifting system is off, so it's not gonna do anything. Not gonna interfere with this at all. Uh, but yeah, so once we make all this stuff, we'll have, we'll have the recipes done for the angel ring, and then we'll start working on some of the catalyst because that's other things we're gonna need. So recipe for this. Let's just try to make a stack and we're gonna need half a stack worth of this stuff smelted up in here and filled with those. So that'll take just a little bit of time. Um, we should have this done. So we can just cook up some flux electrum uh, so we can get the glowstone one. Uh, and then the glowstone one is going to require four millibuckets as well, which is just four glowstone blocks. Or what's... Because the, the recipe has changed, right? Yeah, so we'll want four glowstone blocks. It's actually better. This will just take a moment, and there's the four of those we need. So we should be able to make 
uh, the actual glowstone unit thing. Make sure we're using lumium. We don't want to use glowstonic steel. Um, worst case, actually, let's grab one glowstonic steel. Never mind, it has EMC. Um, we are still going to want to grab one of these just because uh, we don't want to lose that. Uh, that would be really bad for us. All right, so I made just a little bit of this stuff. Um, let's go ahead and turn this back to pull. Let's put it the way I wanted it to be. And there we go. No, I don't. Okay. Give me all the vibrant alloy. Um, I like the I like the thing in the middle just because it's nicer, in my opinion. Anyways, looks better. Um, okay. So now we can start cooking this up. That's empty as it should be, and this will just take a moment to finish. Um, so the actual like unit is uh, AMCable. What am I doing? All oh, right, we need four buckets. So that'll be just a little bit of time. Um, we can go ahead and we should be able to make three of these guys. One, two. I completely miscounted. Hold up. No, that's a one to one. Um, so four, oh, four times three. Yeah, no, that's 12. I thought, hmm. All right, so we're going to need one more of those. And then two, four, six. So we're going to need seven in total. Oh, wait, no, right there they are. Never mind. I found them. Um, whoops, I don't need that anymore right now. Okay, so we need three of those. Um, we should be able to go ahead and make the Dark Solarium, um, most of the stuff for the Dark Solarium jet pack. Um, we're gonna need to take that out. And it's gonna require some levels. Uh, let's just go ahead Oh, how close are we on the levels of this, though? Um, so there is a weird bug that happens. Uh, we can honestly just turn this to never active. So it's almost done. Hopefully that will get done sooner rather than later. But, I mean, it's continuously, lack of a better term, milking the uh, cows. So hopefully it works. But um, we'll see. So emeralds, we're gonna want like a stack or two of those. But I guess we can put that in there. Come over here, grab. Oh, it only does nine. So the recipe is actually lying. Um, so we're gonna need glowstone times four. And uh, then that will be done as well. So. Uh, we're getting there. It's taking a little bit of time, but there's one, two, and three. Perfect. So two dark solarium thrusters. Um, we're then going to need this magic core. And then we should be good to go. Uh, so once this guy is done, which he's so close, uh, we'll have everything we need for the angel ring and then we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, we'll have, we'll just need to finish whatever we're doing in here. Now I would make another dire crafting table, but, um, no, getting another, uh, set of, uh. Awakened Draconium is not going to be fun. And I don't know why I put that in there when we could have just done this. So there is the Magic Core. Now is this useful for anything else? We're going to need a couple more of these. 
Uh, so you know what? Let's just do this. And we'll just throw another one in here. Cool. Uh, so that will give us the Ring of Flight. Um, which is also a flying ring, but this goes like there, I think. Yes, cool. So there is the angel ring. Um, we just need to actively make it. So that one is done. Uh, how are we doing on neutronium over here? We have almost half a stack. It's still working on that. Okay, so the next thing I want to look at, so let's get rid of this. You know what, how much, let's see, what kind of demon steel do we have? With first magnitude, um, do we have any other demon steel? I guess not. So let's just, hmm, let's take a stack of these out, put those back in there, and we're going to make a bunch of demon steel, however much we can with whatever's in there. And it's not bad. Um, it is exact at least. So demon steel, first magnitude, second magnitude. Um, and you know what? We're gonna we're gonna get another diamond chest for this. Uh, just so that we can have Demon Steel the first, Demon Steel the second, Demon Steel the third, and a Demon Steel the fourth. So we're already up to like half a million. Uh, let's look at armor. Uh, we have a good bit of this stuff, so we'll just sacrifice it to this guy and try to make more of the fourth. So once it gets to the uh, the diamond horse armor, I mean that's two million each. Yeah, it'll start making this stuff, and yeah, that'll be that'll be kind of good for just. Oh yeah, that's a lot of progress. And then we're going to hit that. Demon Steel the fourth. You know, I realize we don't really need the... We don't need a diamond chest. We can just use a normal chest. Uh, I do want to use a chest, though, still. So uh, I do want this stuff separate. In fact, I'm going to grab the Tempiro Essence as well. And we're going to get this. And then third magnitude. Second. First. Fourth. Uh, fifth and sixth magnitude. So uh, we can kind of decide where to get more stuff. It doesn't really matter. It is all like 100% taken care of, but uh, we can turn all this essence into like emeralds. And this is a good bit of, I mean, each stack is a million. So we could do fourth here and just do that. And it should give us a good bit of um, the fourth and we can go from there. So um, all in all, like the big thing we need to do is we need to get to 11th, which is the highest and is required for five recipes. Um, it is incredibly expensive but 100% worth it. And by keeping all these, if there's something like that the third magnitude requires, we can make this. Um, I don't know if second magnitude is required for anything or like fifth magnitude is required for the draconic pick um, power thing. So we can just kind of dump resources in here and it'll be fine. So, um, Let's finish up with this. So there's 31, 2, 3. Alright, so we're just going to go straight with 33. There's 5th, 6th. So we have 6th, and then we can make a single 7th. 
and then we can just dump these in here and that's 3 million EMC um, by itself. So cool. With that taken care of, um, let's try to start preparing to make a stack of Infinity Catalysts and Chaos Catalysts. Um, because the rest of the stuff we're going to have to wait a little bit. Um, actually we could probably make, let's see, one, two, three, four tough rods with Neutronium. So tough rods is uh, three, so we're going to need 12. And that should be, I don't think we have to smelt this up or anything. One, two, three, four. So that is a little bit more of that taken care of. Um, the vibra Vibrantium is easy enough, but we are gonna need some singularities, and those are gonna require a little bit more effort. Um, all right, so Infinity Catalyst. This is a lot of stuff. Um, not gonna deny that. Also, don't we need uh, flux redstone or flux crystal blocks? We're gonna need two sets of these, like right here. Uh, so we're just gonna need four more of those. And that's what we're kind of working on down below. But uh, I will finish setting that up because all, it, all it's gonna require right now is we need to import uh, redstone into here. And then um, this will all fill up. And then when we want more flux crystals, we just tell it how many we want and it sends diamonds through a, an interface. So that's kind of the idea there. Um, or whatever else that requires redstone, um, destabilized redstone. So um, eternal singularities, we can't do yet. We need more work to do that. Uh, dark matter blocks, we're gonna skip that and fl the uh, flux crystal blocks. Uh, cosmic meatballs are not that bad. We are gonna require imp hide. Um, So that's going to require us to go to the nether and kill some imps. That should not be too much of an issue. Um, ultimate stew is going to require a bunch of different foods, most of which are EMCable. There's a few that are not. Um, some of the berries, the mallow berries aren't. Uh, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, the Indus pearls, something else we'll have to deal with as well. Uh, let's see, Tempiro essence block. Uh, we're going to need various runes. We're going to need blocks of awakened draconium. A lot of this stuff we really can't do too much of right now. Um, but let's try to get some of the stuff kind of together. We're going to need to... Hmm, we're going to need more of the storage stuff. Um, so we're going to need a stack of this. I know I saw that. Um, jade blocks. We're going to need a stack of jade blocks. So that's not too bad. Um, flame string and imp hide. So we can get a stack of flame string, uh, but the imp hide, let's go ahead and get a safari net. And uh, we'll go to the nether real quick. So infinity catalyst. Let's see, three, nine. Okay, so there uh one two so there and where does this one go um right there all right so some of this stuff is going to be kind of more of a pain than others but um things like specter iron and uh dark stone will be really easy um, we are going to need to get all the components, so maybe we'll work a little bit with that today. Um, but before we do anything, let's go to the nether and go get some imps. Uh, so this should not take too long. Um, we're going to try to avoid everything else that we can. Um, we're simply going to look for some imps and try to avoid the spiders because I hate the spiders with a burning passion. And I think there's a bunch of spiders. Um, we can grab some other spiders. All 
Oh, there's a bunch of nitro creepers. There is a spider there. Um, so we're gonna keep our magnet on. And yeah, those are the spiders I hate. They are way too creepy. But we fly off kind of in a direction. We should be able to find some imps. There is one, in fact. I hate those spiders. Uh, so the imp is what we want to capture in that. And we're going to kill that spider over there. Oh, they're so creepy. Um... Now, if we see a... There's a baby spider with it. They're everywhere. I hate them. One of these guys. Uh, I guess let's go after this one. Um, that was weird. So evidently, if you try to capture those, uh, they split into a bunch of little ones. Uh, Alright, so before we had... Back to our base. Um, you know what? Let's capture gas as well. Did we get it? Heat scar spider. Entity. Yes, it. What? Okay, we captured it, but. What is that? Okay. Whatever. Um. So we should be good. To quickly run into our base and get out of the nether because I hate the nether in this mod pack. Um, it's awful. Uh, I hate those spiders so much. They're, they're just too creepy. They're, they're so creepy looking. Anyways, um, I have no idea what's with the uh, the weirdness that is that entity, but whatever. Maybe it's a different type of gas. I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what this mod pack does to that. But we did get the big spider as well as the babies. Um, which is kind of cool. But now we can come down here. And summon in some imps. Um, and imps are completely and utterly docile. So we'll just kill them and we'll get plenty of stuff. Uh, in fact, we could slaughterhouse them, but I don't think that's needed. Um, now, eventually, we'll set this up to be like a grinder or something. But for now, we don't need to worry about that. Just shut the door so they can't get out. And... Honestly, we will go ahead and... Shut this off. That should be enough for now. Um, and then we can move on to other things. So, um, see, that stuff can go in there. Put all that stuff away. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. Cool. Uh, so, we have... Imp hide. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need MSG pills, which we are getting. Oops. We're getting those from our mob system. Uh, we're going to need. Let's see. Crystallized redstone. We're gonna need a lot of that. So you know what? And eh, well, I'll I'll deal with that later. Um, blue gems. We can get ender diamonds. We can get. Uh, let's just make those because it's easier. Uh, what else do we need? We're going to need sponges. So we can make one of these. And just make a full stack. Like so. Put the sponge in there. Uh, what else? Uh, guy spirit ingots. Uh, chance isohedrons. We should have plenty of those. And eventually we will open some of those. Uh, blocks of dash. We're going to need specter iron. And whatnot. So just kind of gathering things up. 
Uh, so that goes there. On the next row, the these go next to that. Um, that goes there, that goes there. That's in that same row. Uh, and then there was something else we had. Sponges go next to here. So um, we can kind of just slowly fill this up. So like all the essence, the uh, primal essences, I think we're getting. We have a stack of fire. Um, air. Earth essence, we don't have enough of. So uh, I'll get that farm going up and like, I'll get all the farms going uh, here soon. And that should be that with that. So uh, I guess the next thing we should do is let's go ahead and continue working on storage components. Um, specifically, let's go ahead and get a bunch of these. I don't know why I don't have this, the 100s in here. Oh, I do. They're right there. Alright, so if we're going to want more gas cells... Um, we need to get to this one. So it's going to need three of the prior. So let's just get a couple stacks of these. And then we'll just be careful about, like, uh, making what we need. So if we make too many, like, uh, we'll have extras of the low ones. And since I don't really plan on using the gas stuff all that much, that could be bad. Uh... All right, so we're, we're gonna have all of this stuff. And if we wanna make the next tier, we're gonna need calculation. Uh, let's grab like two stacks of those. Uh, and then we're also going to need yellow. Yellow dye, we should grab like a bunch of that. Okay. So I think we can make a stack of these. We're missing something though. Uh, let's actually take one out. Um, quartz glass. So let's take one of these. And we'll make a ton of this. So, um, that should be good enough for now. So, uh, if we make a stack of these, so we have 63, we're going to need one more set of those. Um, so we're going to have to grab this guy. And we're going to want three. Alright, so we'll just put that in there. And since the basic ones are actually EMCable, um, we'll keep those on us for right now. So uh, we're gonna want one more recipe of this. And then we're gonna want to upgrade all of these to the next tier, um, which is gonna require an engineering processor. So engineering processors, we'll go ahead and get a bunch of these as well. But uh, it's not that bad to do. So let's go ahead and get these. We're going to get 22 of these. And then we should be able to just continuously upgrade these. Uh, then at this point, we need logic processors as well, which we have a good bit of. Um, God, the. This guy keeps jumping. So it's just a matter of trying to get as much stuff as we possibly can. 
uh, just to try to upgrade all this stuff. So um, get two of those. In order to get that, we're gonna need more yellow. So that's what we're missing. Yellow dye, uh, and we can go ahead and get a bunch more of that if we want. So there is the 124K. Now, do we have that taken care of? So let's go to the Applied Logistics. We do not. And we combine these. 124K, we're gonna get nothing much. We can pop that out. So we need three of those for the top tier. We're gonna need one of these and one of these. And let's get another crafting table. Uh, station, whatever. We'll just put it right there for now. Uh, so we're gonna need three of these. And so we'll do this. We need two more. Uh, and I want to try to be as exact as possible. So in order to do that, we're gonna need uh, five more of these, which is gonna require 64. We're gonna need uh, 13 more of those, which is gonna require, so for the 64K, we're gonna need um, a lot more of those. Um, I've kind of gotten gotten lost a little bit. So let's get a handful more of these. Again, the 1Ks are whatever because we can EMC them. So if we want to make 64Ks, um, we're gonna want a good bit of those. So every three Let's just go from there. So for now, let's put the quartz glass in the middle, uh, logic processors, and then set to three. Uh, let's do like 12. Okay, and then we can upgrade those to 16s. And we'll need one more set of those. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, let's get a bunch more dandelion yellow. It's not that important if we have too much of that because uh, it, it doesn't matter. So uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make the gas and then um, we're gonna go check to see if we have enough levels to do the mob spawner. All right, that's enough. And then we're gonna call the episode there. And next time, uh, we're gonna continue working with whatever we can. But then we are going to move on to hopefully getting a little bit more done in terms of like progress. Uh, so there is that. We get two of those, which gives us one more 256. All right, so let, let's do this. We're gonna need four more of these. So that is 12, uh, 36, and then a lot more, uh, 36 of the 64s. Uh, so 36 times three is like, oh, 102, 306, yeah, a lot. Um, so we can do stacks if we wanted to. Um, but you know what, I will tell you guys what, let's stop on this. I am gonna do math. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of math for this stuff. Um, but we're getting close to being done with the gas. So that's what we're gonna work on um, first thing next episode. But before we do, before we end this off, um, I want to see, can we get enough 
experience. Cow juice, in a sense. Um, we're so close. And hopefully this is good enough. And it's not. Uh, so we have five more levels. So I will tell you guys what. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. But um, next time what we're going to focus on uh, is I'm going to continue getting the villagers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to continue working on uh, making mass quantities of high tier stuff. Uh, so we're going to work on getting all of this stuff done. And I'm going to actually do math to figure out how much we are going to need to get to all of the top tier storage components and um, hopefully not mess up on the math. Uh, and then what we can do is we'll, we'll do all that. We'll get the solar panels as well. Um, we'll get the powered spawner that we're going to need. Um, we might set that up as well and um, finish cleaning up all of these machines, get all this stuff taken care of so that we can uh, start auto crafting stuff a little bit easier. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, these episodes are going to be a little bit grindy for the time being until we can get a really good source of EMC. Uh, it's just going to be how it is. So um, bear with it, but it will get better. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!